What we're trying to do is to understand how this protein changes its shape that then leads to the degeneration that you see in Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a, is a disease that affects many, many people. Whenever you talk to somebody, they've always got a relative who is suffering, and it obviously is a very devastating disease. In a way, my interest really is trying to understand the complexity of it. At this stage, we really need to understand what the basis of the disease is. We want to understand the molecular changes that are happening in someone who's uh, suffering from Alzheimer's disease. And I think that that's the best way to find a target that will allow us to produce a cure. So I don't think we're really ready for the cure. So in Alzheimer's disease, there are two particular proteins that are, seem to be involved. And people have shown that one of these things, which is called um, amyloid beta, we know that there are um, hereditary forms of Alzheimer's disease that change this particular protein. So we know this protein is really important. And what we've recently been able to show is that if you take this particular protein, and we can make this synthetically, this protein, we don't have to purify it, we take this protein and we can uh, administer it to snails. We uh, teach them to relate a particular uh, taste or smell to a food. Um, and so um, they are stimulated to uh, make mouth movements in response to this smell. And then you take away the food and all they're left with is this conditioned response. So they then respond to the smell, but there's no food there anymore. So they've remembered that connection between the two things. And so what happens when we, we administer the this a beta, this protein that's involved in Alzheimer's disease, is that they no longer retain that information anymore. They have forgotten that association. So we take snails that have not been treated and snails that have been treated, and we find that the ones that have been treated no longer remember their task. I think what it really tells us is that we are able to pinpoint a particular protein that we know must be playing a very important role. The the difference between my research and many others that are going on around the country and also throughout the world is that our focus on the change in structure of this particular protein. So what we're trying to do is to understand how this protein changes its shape that then leads to the degeneration that you see in Alzheimer's disease.